Hey everybody, Ron here. Decided to record this video just to give you folks an idea of the types of board games that I really love. I'm going to go through my top 20 games. Now my top 20 games I go through every year on Instagram, but I figured I'd just make a video to make it easier for you folks that use YouTube to check it out. My number 20 on my favorite games list is Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica is an exciting game of mistrust and intrigue and the struggle for survival. It's a semi-cooperative game that's now out of print, but it's still one of the most fun games that I have ever played and it's provided one of the most fun experiences, whether you are a fan of the show or not. And I understand there may be a reboot of the show coming. I'm going to have to check that out. The number 19 favorite game on my list is Blood Rage. Last year, 2020, was the first time that I played Blood Rage and I fell in love with it. It's a great area control game with that Norse theme where you basically play through Ragnarok. It really speaks to me. You, know, you have some war in it in the area control but you don't necessarily have to win the battles to, to gain victory points. And so that's pretty cool. My number 18 favorite game is Thanos Rising. Now it's a Yahtzee style co-op with a Marvel theme that I enjoy playing thoroughly. Now, there's not a lot, whole lot of strategy there, but um, all the games that I played don't have to be deep, but there's really is more to the game, but it's still a light game. Number 17 on my top 20 list is Twilight Imperium 4th Edition. It's the definitive 4X based epic game. It's a sprawling game that is worth the time commitment to play. Sadly, I haven't gotten a chance to play it in the past year or so for obvious reasons, but I hope to get it to the table again. Number 16 on my favorite games list is Spirit Island by Greater Than Games. It's a really thinking co-op game that's a really fun puzzle to solve where you play the spirits of an island driving out people who are trying to civilize it. Really check it out. I really like the theme and it's, it's a different theme. You usually see these um, civilization games go the other way, if you know what I'm saying. Number 15 on my favorite games list is Seven Wonders Duel. It's a two player only version of the popular drafting game that I believe is even better than its three to seven player counterpart. There's actually a solo variant of it that was put out in 2020 because of the pandemic. But the, the addition of the push and pull of the military track and the constant threat of someone winning through science adds a dynamic that I absolutely love. Number 14 on my list is Pandemic Fall of Rome. A Roman Empire retheme of the new classic. The dice combat mechanic, though simple, really works for me. Really, the whole theme works for me and has replaced Base Pandemic as my go-to version. Number 13 on my favorite games list is The Godfather, Corleone's Empire. It's a worker placement area control game with the Godfather theme. It's a very brutal game, but it's fun. I'm usually not in the games that are particularly cutthroat, but the theme just really works for me. And it seems like every time I play it, you know, people get into, you know, role playing and it's kind of cool. Uh, I really love this game. You, you should, you guys should uh, really check it out if you haven't played it before. Number 12 on my favorite games list is the excellent Sentinels of the Multiverse by Greater Than Games. Now, they have announced in 2021 that they will be running a Kickstarter for the definitive edition of Sentinels of the Multiverse, which is basically a second edition. The end of the main story with the Oblivion expansion it is amazing. It's a co-op card game where you truly feel like the superhero. It certainly hasn't aged well, which is why they're doing you know, a new edition of the game. But I still absolutely love it, clearly, because it's on my list at number 12. Number 11 on my favorite games list is Yido. It just got a gorgeous reprint, but this worker placement game has been around for a while. It's the Lord of Waterdeep, but better. Oh, by the way, I still love Lords of Waterdeep, but this game is just takes it up a notch. Number 10 on my favorite games list is Robinson Crusoe. Another game that's getting a reprint, new edition through crowdfunding this year. This cooperative worker placement game draws you in with a survival theme. It's pretty tough, but it's totally worth it. This game had me looking for other cooperative worker placement games. I was wondering what else is out there. And as a hint, this game isn't the last one on this list. Number nine on my list is Rangers of Shadowdeep. 
This solo and cooperative tabletop skirmish game is very reminiscent of an RPG, including the exciting moments of critical hits and character development through earning XP. Number eight on my list is Pandemic Legacy Season 1. It's one of the best experiences that I've had in board gaming. Um, it is Pandemic, but a legacy version where there's a story that's being told throughout your different playthroughs. And it's one of the first legacy games that were, was put out. And it's certainly one of the best, if not the best. Number seven on my favorite games list is Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth. I have so much fun playing through this story. This is just a different experience than your standard dungeon crawl, in my opinion. And of course, the uh, Middle Earth theme certainly helped. And I'm looking forward to finishing my campaign coming up soon. Number six on my favorite games list is Zaya, Legends of a Drift System. It's a space sandbox game where you play the captain of a, of a ship trying to make their way in the verse. I absolutely love it. By the way, this is not the last sandbox game you'll see, nor is it the last sci-fi game. So keep watching. And number five on my list is Western Legends. I am so excited for the Blood Money expansion including a two-player variant called Who Runs Border Town. This is a Wild West sandbox game that I think is the definitive Old West game in a box. And they do a lot of great things with the characters that you play. The characters are based on historical people, and it contains a variety of, of people, people from different backgrounds. So it's pretty cool. Number four on my favorite games list, speaking of cooperative worker placement games, is Atlantis Rising. Atlantis Rising is such a fun, challenging, immersive worker placement co-op game. Very gorgeous. Um, it's a game where you play the survivors of Atlantis as the, the island is sinking because of the wrath of the gods. And you're trying to collect your resources to escape. So. I actually did a video on this game, on why I love this game, so check that out. Number three on my favorite games list, Star Wars Rebellion. Epic two-player game where the Empire tries to crush the Rebellion before they gain enough support to overthrow it. Um, it has some Twilight Imperium DNA, but it's two-player only. This for me is a, the definitive Star Wars in a box. Number two on my favorite games list is Marvel Champions. It shouldn't be a surprise that it's this high considering that I've released some videos about Marvel Champions. This co-op superhero card game has really captured my attention. I've recorded videos about it, go check them out. Number one is War of the Ring by Ares Games. It is the definitive Lord of the Rings board game experience. It's a long epic game where you play your own version of the legendary story, but I highly recommend it. And I hear there's a card game coming out this year too. So that was my top 20 favorite games. Just to give you folks an overview of the types of games that I love. So you get to know me a little bit better in my board gaming taste. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.